Good morning, Cancer. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. All right, so Cancer, uh, when I was getting into your energy, like, I don't, I don't know. It just like felt like you're scared to like move forward, but at the same time, you know you have to. So I don't really, I don't know. Like, what are you scared about, Cancer? Like, during the month of December. Like, we just went through all those changes, you know, from the Mercury retrograde. And Scorpio season is all about change. So, and it helps point us in the right direction. So, what's scary? What's so scary about moving forward? All right, I guess we'll find out. Let's see. All right, so we're going to do one more um, shuffle for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun. Not all messages will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, let's get right into it. Yeah. So you're kind of lonely, but you know you have to move forward. You have to take action to move forward. You can't worry about... Um, this, those three spilled cups, you know you have to take action in order to really move forward. All right? So it looks like you're having a, a little bit of, uh, well, some sleepless nights. Or maybe you're just waking up in the middle of the night and you're just, you know. Maybe you're just waking up in the middle of the night. What's Oh, you have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, so that's good. So, you know. You may, you may be getting a gift of some sort from some gift of reward for moving forward and, you know, realizing that you shouldn't hold on to the past and just keep moving forward. It looks like you will be making a decision um, that could involve a fire sign, but either way, you're going to be taking action. Why didn't I pull more cards? You're going to be taking action. Also... Um, something about money here, you have Knight of Pentacles, so maybe you're going into a, a new work field, like maybe you're getting a new job offer, uh, some, something in the longs, in the long, along the lines of work, you are getting paid, you are wanting to work and make money. But first, you got to make a decision on what you want to do because you can't be worried about how you are going to make this work. So you got to make a decision first. All right. We'll clarify after on what that decision is. But this could um, be someone like an air sign that you are dealing with or Sagittarius. But either way, um, it's someone that's very like all about themselves but they like they they can be brutally honest at a time at points in time but this can also be you this could you know we all know that cancers can be brutally honest if they really um like need to but uh yeah so this energy is kind of unbalanced because you do have temperance here which is like unbalanced energy but it's in reverse, so it's unbalanced energy, so it's not like this is either you fe are feeling unbalanced about this person or you, or they are feeling unbalanced about you. Maybe they aren't sure if they could trust you or not, and they just want to like be brutally honest with you, and you know, this person can cut you off because you know they have that sharp sword in their hands. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we'll clarify after the, what decision you want to make, but so, all right. So if we take these as the decision that you want to make, it's, uh, you know, you either got to make a decision to not prepare for what's in front of you to just keep moving forward and just to be satisfied with what you are going for or 
you can go back to this toxic connection and, you know, be unbalanced. But if you go unprepared, then you got this work situation that you're going to be dealing with. But either way, you're going to be dealing with this king of swords, no matter which direction you go in. It's like destined that this king of swords is here. So you're not going to be prepared for this uh, work situation to come forward towards you, but it looks like it's a good opportunity. Let's. All right, so it may be a bit unbalanced, or you could, uh, yeah, yeah, it's unbalanced. You have double confirmation, the high priestess reverse and the moon card reverse. But that doesn't mean that, like, you could, that could just mean you, it could be, like, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Libra. Um, but you got a lot of unbalanced energy here, and you got to make a decision, you know, very quickly. You got to think ahead and, you know, be in the moment. Because if you don't do that, then it's not worth thinking ahead. Because then you're going to... And you're just going to make mistakes and be where you, like, don't want to be. So, just really think ahead, plan things out, and focus on you. And stop worrying. What's... Alright, let's check out this devil card. What is making cancer... What is this toxic connection for cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising Sun? This could be a Capricorn. Maybe a Capricorn is coming back into your life. Um, but it looks like they're wanting you to take action. Or you are wanting to take action towards this person. But they are they seem very toxic. Yeah, there's something that you're not seeing if you go towards this person. It's not going to be balanced. It looks like no matter what you do, it's not going to be balanced. But you got in one hand, you have the decision to go towards something that's going to be that's going to make you more stable, but a bit unbalanced. Or you can go blindly into this toxic connection and be unbalanced. So, you got, no matter which direction you go in, you're going to be unbalanced for a little bit. But, you know. But this, if you take this side, you're going to be heading in the right direction. If you take this side, you're not. That's your card, Cancer. You got the chariot, also the cosmic chariot. If, you know, you want to specify. But, <laughs> but yeah, just go towards this work situation. You know, be, you may be a bit unprepared for what's ahead of you, but it's worth it. It's 100% worth it. It's going to help you for, for your highest good. And, yeah. Um, Anything else? Pull one more card. Pisces. Yeah, strong Pisces. So maybe uh, this toxic connection is with a Pisces. Or you're not seeing that there's a Pisces that really wants to be with you, but you're just not seeing it because, you know, you see the people that are, that are openly wanting you. So this Pisces person could want you, but they're kind of scared to talk to you. Um, I'm getting a lot of heat with that card. So maybe you have some strong, like sexual energy. Maybe this person thinks you're very hot or very sexy and they, like really want that in a person. I don't see any arguments at all if you take this person, but it's going to keep get your mind off of work. Or maybe you need to get your mind off work and start focusing on yourself instead of focusing instead of focusing so much on work and trying to be successful. Even though or maybe this person is just going to take your mind off work a little bit. Like, take some stress off, relieve you from, like, any stress that may uh, come your way 
with this new work opportunity. Um, either that or if you date this person, they aren't going to want you to work. They're just going to want you to be with them all the time. And it's going to stop you from working and moving forward with your life. That could also be it. But it's whatever you resonate with. All right. I'm going to pull a whole... I know I've already pulled so many cards, but I feel like I got to pull like one more card right in the middle. Right in the middle, one more card. I just saw the tower reversed. So um, there could be some changes or you're getting over a tower moment at the moment. But uh, yeah, this is for December. So we're still in November when I'm uh, making this reading. So you definitely could have just gone through plenty of changes. We just got out of Scorpio season and the Mercury retrograde. So yeah. All right. That's it. That's all the shuffles. Now I'm putting this, this deck away. <laughs> so you're waiting to make a decision because you're not, you're unsure on which path you should take uh, on what's going to be really best for you in this whole situation. All right. I know I pulled a lot of cards, so there must be a lot of people watching because I don't normally pull this many cards. So yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So you got to stop worrying about what's ahead of you and just start focusing on what's going to be for your best good. You know, is this toxic connection going to be what's best for you? No, of course not. It's not like it's toxic. You know, it's just it was meant to teach you a lesson. And if you go towards it, you obviously didn't learn the lesson. And this could also mean that a Libra, if you go towards a Libra, it's not going to be good for you. And if you go towards a Pisces, it's not going to be good for you. So, But that's just, it depends how you resonate with it. So don't take, take everything I say with a grain of salt. But just, you know, if it's good, if you feel like it's great advice for you, then take it. You know, take it and run with it. But if it's not good advice, then don't take it, you know. It all depend. We're all in different situations, so that's why it depends. Okay, so you got goddess of beauty. You are a wondrous being of light. There's nothing to change or fix. So I don't really like that card because I feel like we always have something that we could change about ourselves or fix about ourselves. Maybe like we don't you know, like something about ourselves. So we change it, you know, we got to do what's best for us. Maybe, you know, we got to do as like, if we don't feel comfortable in our own skin, we got to change that about, about ourselves, you know, we got to make it so we are happy with where we are at. You know, I'm a, all right, so we got two more cards here. I was gonna say I'm gonna pull two more cards, but I already had the cards in my hand. But um, Angel of self-worth, you are currently undervaluing yourself. It is time to regain your self-worth. So for some of you, maybe, you know, you took some time and just really had a hard time, like, expressing yourself. But now it's about time to start expressing yourself and showing yourself self-love. If you love yourself, then anyone can love you. If you don't love yourself, then no one's not... No one's going to want to love you because you don't have that love in you. All right. Angel of clearing your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. All right. And that is right in the middle of the decision, like the, the decision card. Like you got to whatever. <laughs> Uh, right where you got to make a decision, that's when the angels are going to come in and start clearing your way. You know, any confusion that you had is going to be long gone. You know, you are no longer going to be waiting for this person to come in. This person's going to come in and swoop you off your feet. 
if you resonate with that. But, uh, yep. Let's, so, let's see what the spirit wheel of the meditation deck has in store for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun. What messages does the spirit of the wheel of meditation deck have in store for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun? Stone of self, inner power, true self potential. Yeah, you have the potential to move forward, but it's up to you on if you want to really focus on that. And you just got to find the inner power, you know, like you got to go within and find that power to keep moving forward, that strength, so you can rebuild and focus on your life force. Focus on where you want to go. And if you really do want to change, now is the time to do it because you have opportunities and growth. Now is the gateway to change what you want to change. You know, we are going into 2020 in like a month. So now is a great time to start putting like writing down goals. Like, you know, accepting things for what they are and just moving forward. You know, also this person could see you as like a stallion for some. Like I'm just... So maybe like you're very like you like to run or like you're very strong and but I don't they just really like that about you like you're independent. So who knows this person could be good for you but you just got to take you got to take it with a grain of salt, all right? Cuz not every message I say is going to resonate with everyone and not you know and there could be messages that resonate more with some other people so yeah so cancer this is going to be your reading for december i hope you guys resonated with this video if you did please like comment and subscribe and namaste if you do want a personal reading just message me on twitter or instagram i will be happy to give you a free reading um and yeah peace